Hi guys and welcome back to Sports Game World HD. Today I'm going to bring you the third episode of our QPR Let's Play series on FM13. Today we've got to look look at the previous month's fixtures and go through the results, etc. And then we've got a live com against Southampton. Now today I am on my desktop computer, so I should be able to do the episode all in one go, and so there's no need for parts. However, I will have to keep this episode fairly brief because I do not trust my internet speed. It just it's shocking and it will take forever to upload if I did a long video, so I'll try and keep this as short as possible. My laptop is now booked in for repair, so hopefully normal service will be resumed within a week or so, they reckon, so that's, that's good. You know, something to look forward to. Not having to record on this, you know, pile of rubbish, so... Anyway, onwards with the fixtures. Last episode's live comment was against Everton, and we lost 2-1, Bobby Zamora getting our goal. One of their goals came from a cross, and the other one came from a penalty. Now, considering there is a bug in the game with crossing, and as I have acknowledged this, then you know you could argue it's unlucky to concede a cross. So that brings it down to 1-1. Now the other goal was a penalty. So whenever you concede a penalty, there's always debate whether it's luck or you know you deserved it. Obviously in 2D, I can't tell if my player hacked down the player, hacked down the Everton player, I should say, or not. So I'm not sure if that was unlucky or not. Obviously, so you know whether or not we deserve to lose in in, the, in those respects, respects um, is debatable, but. We did outdo them on possession and shots, I seem to remember, and everything like that. But statistically, then you could say we we outdid them. But um, we just weren't clinical enough. In the first half, we we had no drive forward, creating no chances, nothing at all was happening, shooting from long range all the time. And then in the second half, we had lots of drive uh, going forward, creating chances, but no no finishing at all. And so overall, I would say we didn't deserve to win. However. We did then respond and play Manchester United at home and beat them 4-1. Thomas Ince, Samba Dikate, Park Ji Sung and Dribble Cisse got our goals. And this was just like the complete opposite of the Everton game. We were so clinical and you know we played counter-attacking formation, counter-attacking football and we only had about five shots in the game. So to win and to win it by four goals, you know, taking our chances was just the complete opposite of the Everton game. It was just a great, great, great performance. And then to go and lose 2-0 to Tottenham was again not very good at all but it's to be expected Tottenham are a bigger team than us so I mentioned you know, so to beat them was great but Tottenham are a bigger team than us and it was a bit of a derby game I guess with obviously being in London so to lose away at, away, away at White Hart Lane 2-0 is not not the end of the world so then we responded to play against Wigan and beat them 3-2 Bobby Zamora got two goals and Sydney Sam also got on the goal scoring sheet now this was a bit of a crazy game and I'll show you the Capital One game next and that was also crazy we have got a lot. We do take a liking for conceding goals, um, as you can see there. No Premier League clean sheets yet, and um, that's worrying. I guess it's the defence. I don't think it's going to be Julio Cesar. He's not the issue. It's the court. It's the crossing. Crossing bug. That's the bug in the game. That's that's an issue because a lot of these goals are crosses. But in terms of what I can affect in the team, I, th I think it's. I think it's the defence. I think it's. We don't have enough quality at, on the fullbacks. With Fabio, Fabio is more attacking fullback, as is Jose Boswinger. They're not defensively sound, so that's probably why some of these crosses are coming in, and also that's putting a lot of pressure on our centre back. So that's I would say that's the issue in terms of the squad at the moment, and that needs to be addressed in the coming windows. Whether or not I'll be able to do it in January, obviously, with lack of transfer budget, is probably you know not going to happen. So we'll have to wait till next summer. That does leave us though in fifth place in the in the Premier League table, just behind Stoke, Chelsea, Man United, and Man City are sitting top. We are currently on ten points from six games. Now that is a brilliant, brilliant return for considering that I was expecting us to take three points maybe from our opening six games. I wasn't expecting anything, so to finish, you know, to be as high as, as fifth is, is is really good. With regards to the Capital One Cup, now I know in the last episode I believe I said Doncaster. But then I did explain in the second part of that episode, my laptop then turned itself off, so I had to reboot it up, and that meant I had to redo the Capital One draw, cup draw, and I got Tranmere this time, so better draw for me, I would say. And this was just a, an insane game. Like, we, f we won 5-4, and it's saying, again, it's saying Tranmere 5, me 4, but it wasn't, it was 5-4 to me. So, again, it makes no sense. It's a bug. Um... I'm actually pointing at my screen, pointing and telling it's a bug. I just need to compose myself. 5-4. Um, we won. It was just, we threw everything at them. We were so ag attacking, 
hence the five goals that we left ourselves exposed at the back and as you can see Armand Traore, Park Ji Sung, Wilfred, Sah Wilfred Sahar, Junior Hoylet and Nadim Manua got our goals and as you can see though with us playing Armand Traore again a very attacking fullback, wingback not defensively sound so we were left exposed a lot and also I played Ryan Nelson at the back so who's also fairly old and slow so not exactly a um, defensively sound team and so, so to concede, and also Rob Green in goal was never going to, you know, never going to go well. So to concede the four goals was a bit worrying against Tranmere, but we did score five, which is pleasing, of course. I have already picked the team again today. It's very similar to last episode's team, I think, if not exactly the same. Uh, Park Ji Sung is in the team. No, it's different, and Junior Hoylet's in the team due to Thomas Ince being suspended and Adil Tarat being injured. Wilfred Zahar's buggered. No, he's not. Wilfred Zahar's fine. Sorry, Esteban Ganero is buggered. Wilfred Zahar doesn't get in the team due to tactical reasons because I'm going with Ad Wilson on the bench and Dribble Cisse. So that's the team. And let's get this show on the road. Southampton kick off going from left to right. Nathan Klein lays it forward. Fabio defensively in defence, obviously at left back, clears it for a throw in. I've had no possession of the ball yet. Nathan Klein, Boswinger gets up, clears it. Sam, come on, go at them. At them, Sam, good lad. Go on, get round him. Come on, you must be quicker than him. Use your skill and your speed. What was that? I need to bring the speed down a bit. Oh, so I don't think Camtasia's going to like it. My computer's lagging a lot. It's such a slow computer. Hence why I like my laptop more. Hopefully I can convince my parents to buy me a... Uh, iMac or something. <laughs> How that will go, I I highly doubt they'll they'll buy me one. But I can try. With regards to what I want to do with this QPR team, I've had more think about it, and I need to get rid of the dead wood. They're going to cross it here and score, aren't they? Oh, Lalana almost scored. Cork fouling. Yeah, so I want to get rid of the dead wood. Get rid of the age. The age is something that really annoys me in this team. Uh, players like Ryan Nelson at the back. Having the likes of, um, oh, I thought we were going to score there. Kieran Dyer in the squad. Having Park, even Park Ji Sung, players like this, they're too old. Get rid of them and also need to fix fullbacks. I mean, I really do like Jose Boswinger. I think he's really good on this game. Gets forward an awful lot. Defensively, not very, not great. Experience, but not great. However, offensively, he's brilliant. Get bombing up that right wing, supporting Sydney Sam. But in terms of defensive you know quality we need to we need to address that as I was saying earlier in the episode and also up front I mean I have brought in Admilson Wilfred Zaha to add two two young strikers but we've also that means we've that means we're left with two young and in, inexperienced strikers one with terrible stats in Wilfred Zaha and a very young Admilson and then we're left with three old strikers in Bobby Zamora Andy Johnson and Dribble Cisse who aren't you know the very best strikers to be honest they're not great and they're on a lot of money also a week so we need we do need to shed shed them off our wage wage bill and try and get some younger better player younger and better players in on cheaper wages so that's going to be the mission in the next couple of seasons is get rid of the age get rid of the dead wood and also sign Sydney Sam on a permanent deal that must be done too but just see how see how some of these young players develop i mean even even if i go for I don't know, maybe a couple, couple younger, maybe not younger, yeah, younger strikers. People, maybe, maybe someone like Gary Hooper. I saw he was transfer listed, I think, by Celtic. So maybe if I get him in, and try and offload Andy Johnson, say in January, and then next summer try and offload Bobby Zamora, and I've got, I really, I want to buy um, Connor Wickham. I don't know why, but I do, I've got, I just want to buy Connor Wickham from Sunderland. See if I can't develop his stats because SI have given him really bad stats. From a player who is promising so much, since he's been at Sunderland, he's not really kicked on at all. Um, so I want to try and address that and pick him up into this team as well. See if we can't fix that. And that is a great goal by Bobby Zamora. That is a brilliant goal. He's in such good form. He's old, as I was saying, and not great, but he is scoring a lot of goals at the moment in that deep-lying forward role in support. All the, all, all the uh, tactic is just get the ball to him. So it just it seems to be working at the moment. So that's 1-0 to us. Six shots, three on target, 50% possession so far. So far, so good. We're away at Southampton after all, so, you know, a lead is good. So if we can hold hold on or add to this, 
Chris Cunt has scored. I mean, Brunt. Sorry. Um, we should try and cross into the... He's going to head this on. Go on. Oh! Eight shots. You were battering them. We're, it's a, that's a trend, that is. We're scoring our shots. The amount of shots we're taking. But, oh, why didn't he shoot? Lambert should have shot there. He would have scored. He's a muppet for not shooting. No, it's a as I was saying, it's a trend um, in, in out of our performances. We're having a huge amount of shots in games. Whether or not they're all going in, as you can tell, they're not. But at least we, ha we are shooting, so that's positive. They are just from long distance. Ducate shooting from long distance when there's no need to. Because he's he clearly thinks he's a talented footballer, but he's not. He's just a brilliant tackler in the midfield. He just hacks people down for me. And then the rest of them are my you know, skillful quality players like Tarap, Hoyler, Fowlin. These guys do the skill. He does the you know the messy job, so to speak. Ducate, there he is. Fowlin, Sam. That wasn't best. That wasn't the best, Sam. See that Th eleven shots, three on target. That's eight shots we've made that are, you know have been not good enough. So it does need to be addressed. Our striking issue. Lack of goals, I would say. Oh, he's going to score. Julio Cesar saves it. Good lad. Dupudu. Duprado? Is that Dupudu or Duprado? I don't know. One minute of injury time. Foul in. Zamora. Hoyler. Go on, lad. Go on. No. That's it. Go around him. Foul in. Park Jisung. Zamora. He's going to finish this. 2-0. Oh, Bobby Zamora, you beast. Yeah. I've just got him to tutor Admilson. No, Dribble C says tutoring Admilson. He's tutoring Wilfred Zaha. I addressed, addressed that. I want to try and get their mental stats up by tutoring. Got the young players' mental stats up through the experience tutor, if that makes sense. Uh, we'll tell them, I think there's room for improvement. I think they're doing bloody good at the moment. Come on, give me some green lines, please. More green lines, come on. Hmm, not great, not great. Um, do we need to make any tactical changes? Uh, Fabio's pretty buggered. Armand Traore, you can go on. And as for the rest of them, they're fine. Carry on. Same as you were. Come on, let's try and get... Well, no, considering we did throw away a 2-0 lead earlier in the season against Aston Villa, this is not over and done with yet. But I do I do want to win. After losing the first live come of the, of, this, of the series is not good. In the first episode. Second episode. First proper episode. So we do need to, you know, get a bit of damage limitation. Come on, try away. Hoylet, go on, no, Hoylet, that's a bad first touch. Ducate, Anua, I do like Anua. Him and uh, Okore are very similar, I find, in terms of their stats. You know, very physically fantastic, just running, great speed, great strength, great jumping. Well, they seem to have great jumping, I don't know if their stats are great jumping. I know their speed is similar and, and um, strength. And then good tackling, good marking. However, Corey, we do need to work on his heading. His heading's pretty poor. It's like 11. So we do need to get up with his training. And they're going to score here. Rodriguez. Davis. Helio Cesar scrambles the save. How they didn't score there. Foul in. Foul in. Boswinger. Sam. I do love his name. Sam. Simple name to, to pronounce. Zamora, go on lad, go on, dribble, take them all on, be messy, no, okay, Sam, he's not going to cross it, is he, no, he's going to lay it in, nice, Fowlin, Boswinger's going to cross it, no, he's not, he's going to lay it back to Fowlin, Fowlin, Ducate, Ducate, whatever they call it, Ducate, Ducate, I don't know, I call him Ducate, or Diakite, isn't it? I've been saying it wrong, it's Diakite, I'm sure it is. Or Ducate, I don't know, whatever. For the purposes of this save, he's Ducate. Diakite, or... Oh, I don't know. I'm, with, I'm, I'm rambling about his name now. 
can get. Uh, what do we need to do? What do we need to do? Skyland Bled, or whatever they call him. Someone did tell me in the comments. Thanks for whoever did tell me. I still can't say it though. Uh, Junior Hoyler. Uh, ba 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 No, Junior Hoyler can stay on. Zamora's got to stay on. He's on a hat trick. He'll be pissed with me if he comes off, and there's no need to take him off. Uh, we'll leave it as it is. It just makes Skyland Bled or Skyland Bled transfer. Diakite. Diakite? I don't know, I'm going to say his name differently now for the rest of the game. Diakite. I need to listen to a Sky Sports commentator to say his name or something. Sixty minutes. Nothing's really happened in the second half other than their couple chances. Samba. Diakite. Diakite? 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 I don't know. The newer. They're going to score. Need to make a change in a minute. Julio says that. My dog is now about to start barking in a minute. I can hear him. Skyland Bred. Come on. Come on. Before the dog starts barking. Zamora. Hat trick. Go on. Finish it. No. Boric. Oh. All right, we're going to make final change. Final change. Final change. Um, and we'll do that. Sean White Phillips on um, switch to the right. Sydney Sam will go on the left. No, what did I do? I don't want to do that. No, no, no. See, my computer's lagging. Pause the game. I don't want to miss anything. And carry on. Come on, substitution. Right, let's finish the game off. 2 0. Play. Give me a highlight, please. No? Yeah, no? No highlights. Try away. Jisong. Diakite, Skyland Bled, Sam, oh, see we're dominating the shots there, absolutely dominating the number of shots, that's positive. Lalala, and he's going to score. Rodriguez, no. Cesar saves again. Rodriguez, oh. Oh, I thought he'd given a penalty away then. Rodriguez, Lalala. La 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 I don't know. Rodriguez. Davis. Oh, I'd like to, um, while I think about it, I'd like to thank people who have subscribed to me. It means a lot. See the subscription. Since FM 13's come out, I've seen my subscriber count thing go up and up. So, obviously, you guys like to watch FM 13. So, thanks for subscribing. Oof, Cork skies it. Goal kick, come on, get this game over and done with now. Seems like this episode's gone on a way longer than I hoped it ha I hoped it would. Rodriguez, oh god. Crosses it now? No? no? Crosses it, Davis, Klein, he's going to cross it. Goal, Lambert. You see, another crossing goal. 
Another bloody don't you don't you dare don't you dare equalise the game. I don't want to watch your highlight. I know what it was. Davis, Fox, Rodriguez, uh, Fox. Don't you dare! That's not even funny. That isn't even funny. Another crossing goal. Another bloody crossing goal. And they've equalised. And we've... <sighs> we've got, we've got to, we've got to take the winner here. Come on. We have to. We have to. Because that's not even funny, SI. Fix this bug. Quick, quickly, please. Fuck <laughs> Jisung. Two in the sp in space of just like what is it five minutes? They scored two crossing goals after doing not a lot the whole game, costing me two points. Don't you dare! Oh god, I thought they were gonna. Oh, Sam's not gonna win that. No, don't you dare cross it again and take a, wi a winner. No, it's the end of the game. Well, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, SI, for your bug. That's that's really nice. That was lose three, lose two points there. Uh, unlucky. It wasn't our day. Unlucky because it wasn't your fault that we lost. It was the bug. But leave a like for the two goals and for how comical that was there, conceding two two um, corner crossing goals. So uh, leave a like for that, and I'll see you guys next time.